Hello YouTube friends. My name's Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. And if you're new here, I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. If you love that kind of stuff, we'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notification because we love new crafting friends. Um, last week I did a video on how to distress and make picture frames look really chippy and old or any kind of project look old with baby wipes. It's a really fantastic technique and um, check it out and I'll put a link up above here and down below in the description. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this project and I've painted the inside of the frame with a coat of black chalk paint and then I did a couple coats of white chalk paint and now I am going to finish it off. Also a couple weeks ago I did a tutorial on how to press flowers um, and make dried flowers and I have a whole bunch of them that I'm going to incorporate into this project and I'm also going to put a graphic on it using the Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer. So stick around and let's get started and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're ready to start this project. Um, I'm not sure about the frame. I might add another color on top once I get it all finished and I do my dried flowers and see what kind of colors pull out. I might put another coat on this, but for now I'm just going to set that aside and we're going to work on the graphics on this. So this was the inside of the frame. It's just the uh, the backer and what I did was I put one coat of black chalk paint and then two coats of white chalk paint and we're ready to put the graphic on and now I've printed my graphics off um I made my graphics and then I've printed them off on my laser jet printer and you have to make sure that you you reverse your text I just printed this off just to show you the quote that I made um and in a field of roses, she is a wildflower. And I thought that was appropriate when I'm gonna add all my dried flowers all along the bottom. And I printed it off on my laser jet printer, reversed the text, and I sized it to the size that I wanted for this um, piece of wood. And we're all ready to put it on with the Mod Podge. I'm just gonna cut it down to size so it fits better on the piece of wood. And I have a tutorial where I show you how I do my graphics and print them off on my Word program and reverse the text. I'll put a link up above here and down below in the description. So if you're unsure how to do that, you can go back and you can check that out. To do the Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer, I'm using the Mod Podge mat. I have a full tutorial start to finish that's really good to do um, a full size sign if you want to check that out. Um, but today I'm just kind of doing a fast version of it. You're just going to put a light coat over the whole graphic and then put it on the piece of wood and let it set overnight and then when it's finished you're going to take a damp rag and then rub off the graphics okay i have the graphics all on i'm just rubbing out any wrinkles or bubbles it's all good i'm just going to set this aside let it dry thoroughly i usually lose it, leave it overnight and then we'll be ready to rub the paper off and we'll have a beautiful graphic Okay, this is completely dry and now we're going to take a little damp rag and we're just going to dampen the paper just until you start to see the graphic show through and I like to do it in sections. So I'm going to do this section first and work away at it and you just rub it until all the paper comes off and you just kind of go gently and just get the feel for it and uh, it takes a little bit of a knack and a little bit of patience but it works perfect. And as you can see, as you work away, all that paper rubs off and then the graphic is left on your project. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I have the graphics all done and now we're ready to use the dried flowers that I pressed um, from my garden and some wildflowers that I found out and around my house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of lay them out, see how I like them, 
and then I'm going to Mod Podge them onto my piece of wood. So it'll all be incorporated into one and the frame will then go on when it's all finished. So I'm just gonna work away on these dried flowers and see how I like them. I have them kind of set where I think I want to put them. So I'm just gonna take my time and just Mod Podge them onto that board and I'll probably fiddle with it a bit, but I am loving the way that it's gonna look and all the colors of those flowers. So I'm gonna get my Mod Podge out. I have this set up so I have the base of uh, the dried flowers of how I want them. I'm using my Mod Podge mat and there's not really a real special technique to this. You just want to, now these are really brittle from when I dry them. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back, just gently, cause you don't wanna break any leaves off. Just kind of pat it on. And then flip it over and kind of just place it where you want it. And then just gently, just take your paintbrush and just add the Mod Podge. Make sure you have a real good coat on it so it's gonna stay put. And then we're just going to just do section by section and layer it on. After seeing all the colors of the um, dried flowers come together, I think I wanna make a little pop of color on the frame. So I am going to use my baby wipes and I've got some pink acrylic paint and I'm just going to dry brush just on top of it because then I'll have like all three of these colors popping through. I'm gonna have some pink, I'm gonna have some black, I'm gonna have some gray. And I think that'll really complement the uh, wildflowers and the um, pressed flowers that I have on the picture. So I'm gonna work away at that. And I think that was a really good idea to add a little splash of pink to the frame. I think it's gonna look really good with all those dried flowers in that graphic. And I'm ready to um, put this into the back of the frame. It's all dry, loving the pink. That was uh, an amazing choice to do that. So I'm just gonna put this in and then use my uh, hot glue gun just to uh, secure it back into the frame. I have a collection of some dried flowers, some faux flowers, and I think I'm just gonna nestle them in between. It'll give it kind of more of a 3D look, and it might brighten it up a little bit because I find some of the dried flowers, um, when I dried them, they kind of went a little bit darker. That's why I added a little bit of the acrylic paint to make the colors pop a bit, and I think this will finish it off really well. I'm just gonna use a hot glue from my hot glue gun and just kind of place them where I think it's gonna look the best. And all finished and that little splash of those artificial and faux flowers finished it off beautiful and I love it. It's so whimsical and so bright and I think it would look perfect in a little girl's room. This graphic is available in my Etsy store. If you'd like to purchase it make sure you use the code SAVE50 and you can try a project like this yourself. 
So go outside and gather up some wildflowers and some flowers from your garden and give this a try. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos. So if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.